to complete our uh, coverage of uh, system architecture, um, networks, as I mentioned, uh, a <laughs> definitely component um, these days, um, but the uh, the structure, the architecture of the network itself um, uh, has definite implications for security, and there are a number of um, different uh, structures. We will look in more detail at, at a number of these, or um, at, at more specific um, network uh, architectures and designs with regard to security, when we get into uh, telecommunications and networking. But um, in the meantime, in uh, broader, more general terms, um, we are uh, looking at, um, well, network partitioning, in a sense, um, the uh, different types of systems that may be attached on different uh, 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 dealing with different levels of classification, different uh, uh, processing of different sensitivity, significance, importance to our enterprise, um, and of course in, in different ways are these uh, resources that need to be made available, um, that that's the importance of them, um, are they resources where the confidentiality uh, either of the information that they hold or the the processing that they are doing is uh, of greater significance um, in some cases of course the integrity of the uh, uh, the processes the functions uh, that are being accomplished on on these types of systems and you know if if we can uh, group them um, physically in different network partitions. That's, you know, um, probably a good idea, but um, may be unrealistic in this day and age where we're just connecting absolutely everything to absolutely everything else. Um, everything is connected. We're using uh, open network systems. Uh, everybody is uh, using TCP IP protocols and, and therefore, um, you know, every device can talk to every other device and, you know, what kind of restrictions then do we need to put on, um, these systems in regard to, uh, ensuring the security over all of our systems. Um, and having, um, provision and, and connections and, and, the types of connections and the protections of connections where we are dealing with uh, compartmented security, uh, you know, uh, sensitive uh, computing systems and facilities, and, and what do we do in, in that regard to um, ensure uh, that compartmented security and, and the fact um, that it is maintained regardless of uh, what specific technology we're using, um, the uh, connections that we have for, uh, well, different types of employees and even non-employees. You know, what do we do about contractors and vendors um, who need to have access to it? What do we uh, do in terms of connections for our customers? And uh, backstopping and supporting uh, those things. You know, what, what types of... Uh, network architectures will support uh, the provision that we need to make and at the same time the uh, uh, you know the, the needs the requirements uh, of everything well as we started out you know what is architecture it's the requirements um, what about um, special resources uh, certain systems that uh, are important for a variety of uh, purposes, uh, uh, whatever uh, special requirements we may have for specialized systems, for special devices, uh, special functions, whatever. Um, 
you know, are there extra protections that we need to address in that regard? Um, and once again, the, uh, the reference ma monitor concept, um, that we have, that we have mentioned, um, and the fact that we can, uh, I mean, this is a concept. It's not a particular system, and therefore we can implement the concept in a variety of ways, even in a network situation. Uh, so, uh, now there's, there's a number of aspects of this that we have already discussed. Um, in areas, for example, uh, risk management and security management in terms of audit and access control. Um, we're going to uh, look at related aspects, security operations, application security, um, business continuity plan. You know, there's, there's going to be a number of related things that we need to address. And just making sure that we've covered the whole area of architecture with regard to what it says about security, what it provides for us in terms of security, uh, what we need to backstop in terms of um, extra security where the architecture does not specifically provide for it. And next time we'll be getting on to application security.